So let's take a look at how we can actually go through and enable Lightning for ourselves and get started with developing that expertise and defining that group of pilot users based on what we've built in Lightning and what we've built in Salesforce. So I'm here in my Salesforce environment and this is classic setup and I'm going to use permission sets to enable Lightning for just myself and use that same permission set later on for my pilot users. So I can go into administer permission sets and this is really step one in turning on Lightning for yourself. So we're going to create a brand new one called Lightning Experience. And I'm not going to assign this to a specific license type because I do want the option to use this for future pilots and use this for other users. So once I've created this permission set lightning experience, I need to actually grant it the permission for lightning. So I'm going to go into my system permissions Good morning. Good. and click edit. So these are all of the system permissions you have the option to select for a permission set, but because this is a permission set just for Lightning Experience, I'm going to select just the Lightning Experience user option. And so what this does is grant access to Lightning Experience and that drop-down switcher once we enable it for the entire org. So I've created my permission set, now it's time to determine who has access to it. I go into my Manage Assignments, and add an assignment. Now, I have myself, Anna Admin. I also have other users like Susie Smith. And I'm using custom profiles in this Salesforce environment. And those custom profiles, like Susie Smith has, do not have the Lightning Experience permission checked, which means that because she doesn't have Lightning Experience on her profile or the Lightning Experience permission set, when I enable Lightning, she will not have access to it. Now, if you're using standard profiles, it is important to note that standard profiles have Lightning Experience checked by default. So I've added this to my admin user because I want to turn on Lightning for myself. And now I'm going to go to Lightning Experience and enable it for my entire environment so that I can have access to it. This is that migration, migration assistant that Jean-Baptiste showed. It can be found in Classic Setup at Lightning Experience. And this is where we have all of the permissions tied to Lightning, as well as all the educational items like Trailhead and our experience readiness check that we just saw. I'm going to enable my Lightning-related features like notes and news so I can get comfortable with those as well. I've already used profiles and permission sets to define who has access, so now I'm ready to turn it on. I'm going to say yes, finish enabling Lightning Assistant or Lightning Experience. And when I do that, my user now has access to that switch to Lightning Experience option. So I can go ahead and switch to my Lightning Experience and I can start to see what my production environment really looks like in Lightning and start to work on my record pages, my home pages, and customize it for myself. Now if you do want to check and make sure that you didn't impact the experience of your end users, maybe those that you're not ready to move to Lightning quite yet, I can look at my end user, Susie Smith, and even though I've enabled Lightning for my org, I have not enabled Lightning for her, for her yet. So her experience hasn't been changed at all.